So this video is all about something called vampire numbers, just like in our little picture of Count Dracula there. But what are vampire numbers? Why are they called that? Let's have a look. So first of all, a formal definition. A vampire number is a number that if you take its digits, rearrange them into two new numbers, which we're gonna call fangs, hence the vampire, these fangs got to have the same number of digits each, then if you multiply them together, you should get back the original number. So, a little bit confusing so far, but let's look at some examples. It should become more obvious what these are. So, we've got the number 1260. Let's rearrange those digits into two new two-digit numbers. So, 21 times 60. If we just double check, there's the 1, there's the 2, there's the 6, and there's the 0. We've got exactly the same digits, we've just rearranged them, split them into two numbers, our fangs, if we remember. Now the clever thing is, if we do 21 times 60, the answer is 1260 again. So this number is a vampire number. Here's a bigger vampire number. Let's check it. So 136,948. We can split that up into 146 times by 938. So let's just check the digits. There's the one, three, six, nine, there's the four, and there's the eight. We've got exactly the same six digits. Our fangs have got the same number of digits in each number. And if we multiply them together, we get back to our original number. Now sometimes you can get a vampire number that's got more than one pair of fangs. So for example, 125,460 is equal to 204 times 615, but it's also equal to 246 times by 510. Same digits, just rearranged into a different pair of fangs. There are numbers that also exist that have got three pairs of fangs, four pairs of fangs, so on. So now we've had a look at normal vampire numbers. There are other types as well. So a pseudo vampire number, that's one where the fangs don't have to be the same number of digits. So for example, 1,206 is six times 201. The digits are all there, but they haven't been split into equal amounts. Or it might have more than two fangs. So 1395 is the same as 31 times 9 times 5. The same four digits, but more than two fangs. So they're pseudo vampire numbers. Now, really impressive ones are prime vampire numbers. So, for example, 117,067 is equal to 167 times 701. So the same six digits, rearranged. But the clever thing with a prime vampire number is that those two fangs are prime numbers. So they're also the two prime factors of the original one. We've also got ones of double vampire numbers. So this number here is one quadrillion, 47 trillion, 527,295,416,280. That's got these two fangs here. So if you wanted to double check, all of those digits appear there. It's the exact same set. They've just been split up into two eight digit numbers. But because this is a double vampire number, those two fangs are themselves vampire numbers. We can split them up further. So on the left there, you can see that 25,198,740 is also equal to 2,940 times 8,571. It's a vampire number, the same on the right-hand side. I hope you've enjoyed my video on vampire numbers. For any questions, or if you'd like to see more, don't forget you can subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or leave comments at the bottom of the page.